Hey dude, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a great video on how to use parallel compression in Reason. Actually, just parallel processing in general. We'll start with parallel compression, but then use a bunch of other cool techniques to use parallel channels to take a song that sounds pretty good to begin with and really bump it up to the next level. What is parallel compression? Well, basically what you do is you take an initial sound, duplicate it, and provide some really extreme processing on that duplicate, and then blend it into taste so that you have the original nice sound already, and then just add this other little extra element suddenly in the background. If you think about, you know, graphic design, for example, it could be like adding a shadow to text, right? Where you've got like the text and it doesn't stand out perfectly, but then you add a little shadow to it and it pops. That's sort of how you can think about parallel compression is you add almost a shadow to these sounds and it'll just make it sound much fuller and richer and more professional. If you want to take your mixing and your mastering and everything else to the next level in Reason, I've got a free mixing template for Reason. It'll get you mixing better sounding music from the get-go. I've put a free link to it down below. Download it so that you can easily start adding these sorts of features to your music. All right, let's watch that intro. Okay, so let me just play a little bit of this song for you and I'll show you sort of the mixing flow that we have right now. So a really important thing to do with parallel processing is to create buses. Buses are basically what everything flows through. And I've, for ease of teaching you, I've color coded everything, right? So everything that's orange goes to this drum B. And the ones with the red sliders are the buses. Um, and I also tend to put B behind it, although I guess I don't always. And then the drum bus, you see where it says output here? You can choose what the output is. And we'll go into this in more detail, but the drum bus then outputs to the instrument bus. And I actually don't want that to happen. I want the drum bus to output to the master section. The bass isn't going to any but is going to the instrument bus, and then the instrument bus goes to the master bus. The two leads go to the instrument bus, and the instrument bus goes to the master bus, and the keys bus goes to, oops, let's move this over for ease of organization, goes to the master bus, and this guy should actually also be going to the keys bus. So check your routing along the way. But buses are gonna allow us to really easily dial in parallel sounds. The other thing that you must do you must do this when you're using parallel compression, is make sure this delay comp feature is turned on. What happens is basically with parallel processing, you're gonna have two versions of the sound. And every little plugin that you ha insert has a certain amount of latency, or it takes a little bit of time to process a sound. And so if these two nearly identical sounds have slightly delayed timings because of all the processing that's going on within them, what you're gonna encounter is almost like a, a phase, well, it's called a phase issue, but it sounds sort of like just a smeared, weak, delayed sound. And so you've gotta turn on delay compensation or it will not sound right. It'll sound worse. Um, delay compensation does use up some extra processing power though. So don't necessarily turn it on until you're looking to do parallel processing. All right, let's listen to the song real quick or the section of the song we're gonna work on. I'll have some coffee. So it's pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do first is create a parallel drum compression bus. I don't really have much compression on the drums, if any. So the first thing you do is create parallel channel right here. It's really easy, that way Reason makes it do it. Now, normally what I would like to do would be to create, you know, there'll be several parallel channels maybe, and they would all go to like a drum master bus. But what I'm gonna do for ease of teaching and clarity is I'm gonna route all of the parallel channels to a special parallel bus so that we can hear what an effect it ultimately has on the mix. So 
um, I'm going to create a new output bus and we'll call this the parallel bus, P bus. Um, and so now what we're gonna do is go to this base or this, we'll solo the drums and we'll solo the parallel channel. So by default, it's just a copy. But what we wanna do is fatten up the drums. So, so let's click on the rack. And what we're gonna do here is P1 drum bus. We're gonna insert a compressor. And we're gonna insert the, um, sorry, the Reason bus compressor here. This is a really good compressor to use for these sorts of things. And we are going to smash it. We're going to get an awful sound out of it. But what the sound is gonna do is basically be a very fat sound. It's gonna lose all of the attack of the drums, but we don't need to worry about that because the original sound that I've muted for the time being already has all of that attack. So this allows us to get really aggressive and bring out the tail and the fullness of the drums. So we'll set the attack down to zero, which is the fastest, and we'll play around with the release, but we're also going to pump up the ratio and we'll mess around with the threshold to dial it in. We probably want even more than that. This is really, I think, what we're looking for. It's just the tail end of it. And now we could add some makeup gain if we wanted to, just to fatten it out, to make up for all the lost. Now what we're gonna do is blend it in with the original. You heard, well, let's listen to how lifeless this is. And if we bypass it, it'll give us the result of the original. This is the original here. You see how there's no initial attack, the kick, the hit of the kick and the hit of the snare is just much worse or much weaker, but the body's fuller. So now let's blend them in. This is the original here. I've soloed it as well. And this is the parallel compression and we'll slowly bring it in. Right about there is pretty nice, I think. Feel how much fuller that is? Oops. And bring it in again. Just so much fatter. Now in the context of the entire mix. So that's the first one. What we're gonna do is actually create several more parallel channels on the drums. And when you create a parallel channel, it actually takes it from before the effect. So this parallel channel here does not have the prior one on it. So let's now on this one, the second parallel drum, add a little bit of saturation and distortion using Scream. And here we're gonna just use the, um, we'll start with the overdrive, but maybe we'll use tape and we'll just see what this does. Turn off cut and body, we don't want those. That's, this is basically an EQ and this is an amp modeler and that's not what we're doing here. We're just trying to cook up some sizzle and fatness. You hear how beefy that is? You might not hear it if you don't have a uh, nice speakers, but this also can be pretty compressed if we want, but you hear all that low end thump that's gonna bring in? All right, let's blend it into taste again. Let's just solo these three.
That might even be hitting too hard. By themselves, these don't sound good, right? But. And let's just do a little low end cut on that because this is too beefy. we've beefed up the drums let's apply the same magic to the bass and then we'll do it to the whole instrument bus so um, with this we'll probably just do parallel compression okay so we've created a parallel bass and I want this parallel bass to go to the um, parallel bus and remember in reality I would probably create a master bus for all the bass channels but for teaching purposes i want to instead create a special bus just for all the parallel stuff so we can hear all the goodness it's doing so let's solo the bass and the parallel channel and again we're going to do just the same uh crushiness but this should also fatten it up let's use the bus compressor some makeup can it doesn't really matter but and actually the pumping sound of the faster release i think here works better with the um more dynamic um bass sound where with the drums i wanted it just to be like really more rhythmic and on the beat here. I really want it to be noticeably pumping because it enhances the speed of the, of uh, the bass without. without and it makes it more rhythmic as well as being fatter. And we could also, another thing you can consider experimenting with, is adjusting the stereo width so maybe the parallel channel is going to be this parallel channel at least is going to be right at the middle and maybe the drum the super squash drum is also going to be right up the middle and let's try without the parallel channels at all If you're not listening on good speakers, you might not hear it, but there's like maybe almost a full, I don't know if a full octave, but there is a lot more low end beef and a lot more fullness now. Let's uh, also pull up the, this um, Spectrum EQ so we can see, kind of illustrate what's going on. So to me, that already is sounding a lot better. We're gonna do two more things for the purposes of this video. Um, and that is that first we've got this instrument bus here, which is where everything except for the drums are going. And what we're gonna do is first of all, because it's an EDM track, I'm actually going to put a um, 
just a regular old, ah, not that, not a regular old screen, a regular old compressor. And we're gonna side chain it just a, just a skosh. We're gonna hit tab. Um, the side chain input is going to come from the kick, which um, is down here. Actually, the kick's up here. And so we can take the parallel out from the kick and use that to feed this side chain for the compressor. This is going to pump all of the instruments and uh, create just a little more bounce. We don't want this too extreme. Extreme. We want faster. That seems about right, and we'll just. a little more rhythm. Now we're gonna create a parallel track for all of the instruments. And yes, I know we've already created one for the bass, but this is gonna be um, just a little more over the top. And we'll also add, we'll probably do two of these very low. One will be compression and one will be tape saturation again, where we might use the automatic. So first we'll use the bus comp, which I always go by for some reason. And let's just solo U2. Trying to find something that's both rhythmic and full. Actually, the slow release might be where we're at. This way, we're just kind of hearing the attack. Let's try blending them in. Sounds like it's just add it, making it thicker and also more rhythmic. We'll also send you to the parallel bus. And I'm going to create one more parallel channel for the um, main instrument out. And this is going to be using the Audiomatic and the tape setting there. So let's again solo these two. We're just going to use the tape. saturation on it. Collectively, I think it's taking the song in the right direction while we still, it takes the song in the fullness and fatness. Sorry takes the song in the fullness and fatness direction, but you still have sort of those crystal light tones featured up front, which is why I don't just do the instrument bus and just slap the tape on it because you lose, let's, let's just, you know, listen to the difference between the two, right? Um, and we can just actually, we can do it by hitting bypass on this. So. It's more 
more distorted and beefy, but I kind of like the ethereal quality of the overall sound, and that's why I just want to blend it in as opposed to doing it the other way. You could also use the wet dry knob, but the, the problem with that is then, let's say I were to put the wet dry, just put an audiomatic on the main bus and set the wet dry knob to 50 50. Then when I sent this whole track to the parallel compression track, for example, it would also be compressing 50% of the tape. Or if I were to put the compressor and use the wet dry knob that's also on the compressor, then it would be the same situation where you'd be compressing the tape sound and you'd be compressing the compressed sound, as opposed to here you get to blend everything into taste. All right, let's get these volume levels back. here with and without the parallels. And yeah, it is louder. my mind it sounds way better so if you've got any questions about using parallel processing and reason please leave your comments below if you think you know this is going to help you mix i hope so i hope you learned a lot let me know what you learned be sure to subscribe and like for more great reason content and just producing content in general uh, and uh, also don't forget to download that free mixing template with the link below because that'll teach you a lot about how to make these beautiful sounds and get you set up for success. Thanks for watching.